and they're off racing away for the 250,000 pounds JRL group Liverpool hurdle this grade one over the extended three miles and as expected flooring Porter goes off in the lead coming towards the first of 13 flights of hurdles they're all safely over the first time hill racing in second position it's a wider out then the mayor Molly Ollie's wishes it's two lengths and back to the start cap for side of Erlo's jockey Mark Walsh and a dispute for fourth early on with Juan Marsh to the inside in the blue and yellow colours a further half a length then back to find it amongst horses Thomas Darby who was third in this race last year next is Chan in the first colours of JP McManus the white cap there for John Joe Jr and at the back of the field is Kashari now the mount of Dennis O'Regan so they head into the far side for the first time and it's flooring Porter he's out in front looking to make it the chart the main tree double this afternoon having landed the stay as hurdle for the second year in succession last time out at Presbury Park shows a length and a half flooring Porter lovely jump over that one the field getting a little more strung out as they went over flight number two flooring Porter Danny Mullins that two and a half lengths clear from Molly Ollie's wishes who in turn then is about a further couple clear from time Hill and Saidi Verley and Juan Marge. Champ is next. To his outside is Thomas Darby. And Kashari remains in the final placing towards the final jump over on the back straight this time. Flight number four coming up. Florian Porter pops over that one okay. From Molly Ollie's wishes and Harry Skelton in second. Time Hill, he won this race last year. Chased home Florian Porter, of course, at Cheltenham last time. Time Hill currently sits in third place. And so further a few lengths away then to find at Saidi Berlin. It's to the outside of Wamage. And then Thomas Darby and Champ held up towards the back of the field with Kashari still the back marker. So we're about to enter the home straight. And as they race on towards this next one, it's Florian Porto who will lead them on the run towards flight number five. Shows by the best part of two and a half lengths. Over in second, Molly Ollie's wishes. We're back in third, Time Hill. And then Saidi Berlin. And Wamaj and Thomas Darby. Champ is next. And still at the back is Kashari. So running on down towards flight number six. Flooring Porter making every step of the running so far. Jumps the sixth flight of hurdles with a three length lead. The time hill in second, Molly Ollie's wishes in third place, the white sleeves and cap, blue and yellow for Juan Marge. And then Saidi Berlay, Champ and Thomas Darby, and last of all, Kashari. This will be the final flight next time around. Florian Porter once again doing it very easily at the moment in front, leading from time hill in second place. Purple and green, the white cap there for Tom O'Brien. Then Molly Ollie's wishes and Harry Skelton, followed by Juan Marge. Side of Berlin, neck behind him, between horses is Champ, and then Thomas Darby and Kashari the back too. So very little change in the order. As they make their way out to the final circuit, they've got six more flights of hurdles to take. The pace perhaps just gradually increasing now as they work into their final lap of the contest. Flooring Porter by two and a half lengths to Molly Ollie's wishes. He's racing there in second place. Just in front of Time Hill. Four lengths there back to Huamage. Sadi Berle. One length to Champ. Then Thomas Darby and Kashari. Approaching flight of hurdles number eight. Flooring Porter. Over quickly out in front there. He landed by about two and a half lengths to Molly Ollie's wishes in second. Time Hill back in third. Then Huamage and Sadi Berle. From Champ and Thomas Darby and then Kashari. The middle flight over on the back straights. Flooring Porter. Stepped at that one a little. Maintains a clear lead, though, from Molly Ollie Swishes in second place. Back in third, then it's Time Hill. Side of Berlay trying to edge a bit closer now from Champ and then Juan Marge as they take that final jump down the back. And it was still Flooring Porter, still going very well out in front. 
He leads by the best part of four lengths. Cider Burley now challenging for second place between horses. Time Hill has been bumped along to the inside, has now dropped back to fourth as they make their way down the side of the race course then, and it's Flooring Porter and Danny Mullins. Now being challenged to the outside by Saidi Burley under Mark Walsh. A little wider out the mare, Molly Ollie's wishes. Two lengths away to the pushed along Time Hill. Thomas Darby is trying to come into it. Champ is off the bridle now. He's only got two behind. Juan Marge and Kashari, those two runners. So they head now towards the top of the home straight in the JRL group. Liverpool hurdle, and it's Flooring Porter who leads by a length. Over to Star Cap, Saida Berlo in second. It's two and a half lengths away to Thomas Darby, then Time Hill. That was three from the finish. And it's still Flooring Porter. Saida Berlay now pushed up to try and get on terms. On the way down towards the penultimate flight of hurdles. It's Flooring Porter. Steadies nearly joined in the air there by Saida Berlay, who's now just about level with Flooring Porter. On this run down towards the final of the 13 flights of hurdles. They've kicked right away then from Thomas Darby and Time Hill. Here comes the final jump now. Saida Berlay, Flooring Porter. Saida Berlay bats just in front. Flooring Porter landed awkwardly. Saida Berlay and Flooring Porter to fight out the finish inside the final furlong. It's Saida Berle by a length. Flooring Porter giving his all against the running rail. He's a bit tightened up for room there, Flooring Porter. It's Saida Berle is out in front. He's going to be first past the post in the Liverpool hurdles. Saida Berle from Flooring Porter across the line in second. Champ rally to dispute a photo for third with Thomas Darby. Then Time Hill and Kashari from Wamage and Molly Ollie's wishes. Yeah, uh, Gordon Elliott alongside me. have been having a chat with, with Gavin Cromwell as well, train, trainer of the second. Uh, we've had a, a good look at the head-on. We'll, let's leave that to one side. Talk about the horse. What a great performance. Yeah, look, he's been a great horse. You know, he won twice in Cheltenham for us. Um, we knew he was in good form. He looked great coming here. But I honestly thought it was kind of behind him, you know, to win a grade one. You know, his better days were, 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 were behind him. But um, Mark gave him a beautiful ride. He travelled great. And, you know, delighted for, um, for, for the whole team at home, you know. We've had a tough couple of weeks. They're hitting the crossbar and everything. But, um... Uh, Mark is right now with skin and JP's horses are flying but uh, you know it's, it's great to train a great winner for JP yeah aren't they just uh, you look back at Cheltenham now talk about a luckless time of it he was one of those horses wasn't he yeah exactly we thought he had a good chance in the attempts and yeah, I think he probably did off yeah, the back of that and he nearly got brought down but uh, look there you go that's the game right yeah. um, j just as the race progressed were you more and more confident that he was going to get into it and pick oh, up flooring I, I thought we were going to finish second or third and I, said, I was delighted with that and then in fairness he kept picking up and um, Brilliant. Yeah, I know you've had a good look at the head-on as well. Just your sort of take on it. And listen, you never. He won a length and a half. Do you know, he, he, you know, he, he the best horse won. You know, um, you know, he, he, he won a length, length and three quarters. Sorry. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I, I think they'll probably have a look. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if they changed anything. Yeah. But there you are. You looked well on top at the time. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Good luck. Thanks. Cheers. Well JP Manis is alongside me. It's been quite a few days for your five winners now. Well done. Very, very special. <laughs> I didn't think this could happen at the start of the week, but, uh, you know, when you look in the morning, you look in the evening. You know, so. And I suppose, you know, with, with the two that you've had today, um, you know, two would not necessarily expect it, given Gentleman Demay was up against Edward Stone, Saidu Burley, um, you know, was, was had some form to find. They both won nice. They won well there. We were thought Champ was the most likely of ours to win, and that Saturday Berlin might pick up some prize money, but uh, it was the other way around. But it was. Gentleman Demay was it was was really exciting to watch. I thought he's very exuberant. Yeah, Willie decided not to go to Cheltenham with him. He kept him for Liverpool. Uh, and uh, it was a good decision now. <laughs> it's funny how things work out because I remember on that Thursday at Cheltenham being absolutely sure, perhaps you were as well, that Saida Burley couldn't be out the five in a attempt. Well, had he not been hampered, he probably wouldn't because he'd come here and won a grade one. Maybe, uh, maybe that was why he won today. But, uh, you know, he didn't get a, a great passage in, the, in, in Cheltenham. It was a little bit rough for him. And, uh, uh, listen, we got the benefits of him not getting too hard to race then. Without wishing you to, to run through every winner, was there something quite special about Epiton, given what she's achieved and how, you know, she does look right back to her best? She's a great mare, really, you know, and uh, it just shows you how good uh, Honeysuckle is. Like, yeah. she put us in her place at uh, Cheltenham. And, uh, but fair play to Nicky, done a great job in getting her back on track. And he said, come and dance, she was never in better form. and. You know, I'm very, very happy with her preparation and she's grown up and, 
you know, he, he said she'll run a big race, whatever beats her, he said uh, he thought would, 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 if anything, would beat her, they'd win. But, uh, you know, so where she goes from here, I don't know. Yeah. How are you feeling about the, the national race? You've obviously got a fabulous record in, a, a good few chances th this year. How, what, what, what do you always feel on this day? Is it anticipation, nerves at all? You know, uh, for me, this is the greatest race, the Grand National. You know, I have my longest memories of it. Uh, I, uh, I remember back in years ago, I believe Mr. Watt won the Grand National. My dad had a man working for him called Johnny Griffin and he didn't turn up for about three weeks after uh, so he was working on the farm so my dad used to say my god he said oh, he used to curse that mr watt <laughs> 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 but i've had memories of it for a long time i remember the first uh, time i saw it on television was 62 i saw kilmore and fred winter uh, win the national you know that was my first time seeing it on television black and white and my dad Everyone says how it's a different race now, we know that, but it's no less exciting, is it, for you? Well, there's the magic about the National that is not shared by any other race. The build-up, the excitement, the locals, if you do well in the Grand National, win the Grand National, you find a few bonfires and things like that. The, the, it it um, hits home. Now, I, I, I'm sure people will be screaming at the television saying, ask JP which one of his he fancies. I'm not certain you're going to give me an answer, but I, do, I will ask you. You know, I think it's very difficult for the horse at the top of the handicap to win uh, because, you know, uh, Rachel on uh, Manila, she has, in effect, she has 12-2 to carry. Uh, and it's a big ask. I, I find it very difficult to see her uh, win because they've three pound because of the COVID allowance for jockeys and another three with the back protector. So it, it's very difficult for those horses at the top. I, I think. I hope I'm proved wrong, but I think they'll find it difficult. Uh, we have a couple down towards the bottom there. Uh, Schoolboy hours in. Yeah, and um, Kieran, Kieran Murphy's horse, uh, Enjoy Del Yeah. They're down at the end. Of the, I think the winner of the national, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes from that end of the race. And Annabel Fly is in it, I know he's 100 to 1, but you know, he, he, a couple of years ago he would have had 11, 10 and more. You know, um, host of chances. I hope your good week continues. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tom. Take care.